Hi guys, let's carry on. Uh, we are in 2016 KCC computer paper one. Remember, we are tackling question 16. Question 16 is from form 3, that is elementary uh, programming. And uh, as the instruction goes, always in section B, answer question 16 and any other three. Remember, question 16 is compulsory. And therefore, we are we have so far tackled 2019, we have so far tackled 2018, we have also tackled 2017, now we want to tackle 2016, and therefore figure one shows a flow chart, use it to answer the question that follows, therefore this is the flow chart that was there in the year 2016, the way it looks like it is um, a looping it is actually a looping uh, control structure used there. Uh, on the other hand, it can still also qualify to be selection because it is also using if then. Then from there, we can go to the question. Therefore, we have nine marks, interpret the flow chart. Now, when you are told to interpret, you are actually asked to explain what is going on in that flow chart or what is expected. And therefore, to interpret this one, it is very easy. Therefore, you are supposed to explain that the program, that is the, the program launches, then prompts or asks the user to enter a value n, that is where n equals to 1. Therefore, it is a variable n with the value of 1. Then it is also asking for a variable called base, uh, which is 2 with the value 2. That is a variable or a memory location base with value 2. It is also asking for a variable power, which is 10. Then it is also asking for a variable called answer or ans ans equals to 1. That is value equals to 1. Then it processes ans multiplied by base. For instance, here, since the base is 2, it will multiply 2 times 1. You are supposed to interpret that. Then you, you go on and say it will make a decision whether variable n equals to variable power. And if the condition is uh, not true, that is variable n is not equal to variable power, then a variable n up there, which is for now is 1, uh, is incremented with 1, and the condition again begins here. Then if the condition is true, that is variable n equals to variable power, then uh, the screen, this, the, uh, this is... Uh, assigned to show the, the report, or that is the output, then the output is given as the ANS. That is, it will give ANS times, it will, that is, it will give ANS times base as the output here. Then the program stops, as simple as that. You only need to understand what is going on on the program. Otherwise, uh, when you are asked to when you are asked to, uh, that is, interpret, you are supposed to explain or show what is actually going on in the, in the program, uh, indicating the outputs that will be given. Therefore, you would have scored nine marks by just interpreting and showing how uh, those things work. Then, on the other hand, write a pseudocode for the flowchart. Therefore, we shall be writing the pseudocode for that program, which is very simple. It is actually easier to write a pseudocode rather than drawing a flowchart, since pseudocode uh, is just English-like statements that are not actually very much complicated. Therefore, let's launch Microsoft Word. Then, once we launch Microsoft Word, we shall be in a position to uh, do the necessary that is we shall actually uh, uh, draw the pseudocode therefore let's do that 
the for this is our Microsoft Word. Remember, a pseudocode must follow some conditions, like it must be indented, it must uh, use the keywords like start, therefore you shall start. Now once you start, our program is starting by processing, therefore you process, you can process, process, therefore you're processing n, n equals to 1. On the other hand, you also have base, base equals to 2, then you have power, power at power 10, then you have ENS equals to 1. Therefore, that is the first part. You can just highlight, then click on space, so that at least you can save on space uh, when you are doing in Microsoft Word. Therefore, this is our keyword, uh, start here. You can make it large. Then, after now doing that, uh, we have that ANS equals to ANS multiplied by uh, multiplied by base base that way. Then, if now we get the condition if, therefore, you are now getting to a condition here. If Therefore, if n, if n, if n equals to uh, base, if n equals to base, then remember, if goes with the then, then we give the we give the condition. The condition is if that, then we give, first of all give the true the the correct condition therefore print or output output a ms therefore that's what you're really doing you're outputting you can output you can make these capital letters we are outputting ans so this one can be made bold also this one to show that they are keywords they are they are actually therefore if n is that then I output that else which is also a keyword else you can also bold this therefore else if n equals if n is not equal to base what happens According to our condition, it will be n n equals to n plus 1. That is what it will happen. Then from there, uh, it will now repeat. It will now repeat. Else, you cannot still do here. Else that, then repeat. Repeat. Then once it repeats, it end and if because you have one and if therefore you have uh, that and uh, uh, if there therefore this one is not supposed to be bold. Then from there it will stop. The program of ours will actually uh, stop. But you also need to indent these ones. Make make sure that it is somehow indented. For readability purposes, if our program would have uh, wrote something like that, yeah, that way. Therefore, uh, our program could have looked something close to that one. Therefore, this is how you would have uh, written the pseudocode for that uh, process. Then you also score six months. Therefore, it was as easy as that, uh, but you need to do a lot of practice so that you can be in a position to understand all this. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. Remember to watch 2019, to watch 2018. Uh, also to watch 2017.
so that you can in a position to follow the KCSC trend on how question 16 is set and how it is answered. Thank you very much.